Angiosarcoma is a malignant cancer involving the blood vessels. Angio, meaning arterial, or a vessel, and sarcoma, meaning cancer. So it's a vessel cancer. These are usually very difficult to treat because they present very late. This malignant cancer starts growing and only shows symptoms when it's fully grown. So once the patient shows with, it, with their symptoms, they would have already had the cancer for a long time. It has a strong relation with the following. Either previous history of radiation, this can be somebody working in a radiation area, or simply radiotherapy. History of mastectomy. Patients after having mastectomy, especially full mastectomy or radical mastectomy, they will have lymphedema in the same arm or in the same side. So if somebody had radical mastectomy on the left side, they are likely to have lymphedema in the left arm as well. After having lymphedema for some time, they are very likely to develop angiosarcoma. And this is a very common question in exams. And it can also be related to toxins, such as arsenic and vinyl chloride. Both of these toxins cause angiosarcoma in the liver. And it can be very difficult to treat. If it occurs sporadically in the skin, it tends to favor sun-exposed areas, so the head, the neck, and the arms. It's treated aggressively by surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. It is very likely that the patient will need all three of these. The prognosis is directly related to the metastasis. If there is metastasis, the prognosis is very bad. So to recap, it's a vascular tumor, and it can be present anywhere in the body, either in the skin, mainly in the sun-exposed areas, or deeply in the internal organs, like the liver. It's malignant and very difficult to treat. It's related to radiation, mastectomy, and toxins. And finally, metastasis indicates prognosis. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.